Olympic fever is gripping Beijing. And more so than most, China's young athletes are relishing the experience. These students at the capital's elite Sishahai Sports School spend hours every day honing their skills and preparing their bodies for sporting glory. With the 2008 Games taking place in their backyard, for the first time ever, the students get to take a look at what the future might hold for them. It's certainly inspirational. Those who go to this school are genuinely considered China's next sports stars. Si Shahai has nurtured 31 Olympic and world champions, but success certainly comes at a price. We are very strict with them, but at the same time we want to get them to develop an interest and a liking of what they do. When a person likes what they do, they have the ability to succeed. They can get to a very high level. There are some 23,000 state-supported athletes in the pyramid structure that makes up China's sports system, but they've been heavily criticised outside the country. UK rowing legend Matthew Pinson described the technique in 2005 as bordering on child abuse. Having said that, some of the students do seem proud to be there. Only the really good ones can come to this school. If you don't have a good record, or if your level is not high enough, you can't make it in here, so I really value this opportunity. Five of the 32 gold medals won by Chinese athletes in the 2004 Athens Games were won by former Sishahai pupils. The school is therefore anxiously waiting to see how it fares on home soil this summer.